Good morning, guys. So today, very exciting. We actually have a provincial park book, so we're going to head to Little Qualcomm Falls later on today. But first, Woo! very unexpectedly, we noticed that we were driving by Nanus Bay, I think that's how you say it, and we saw that they're famous for clamming there. So right away I checked the tide charts and it's low tide right now so we're actually like just packing up really quick and heading over there and hopefully getting some clams for dinner tonight. Okay, so we just pulled up the highway and, well, as you can hear, it's fairly noisy here. And we're just walking down to the beach. It looks like everybody else had the same idea that we did because there were so many cars pulled off on the side of the road here. And just heading down the bank to the beach here because it's low tide. Luke's got his bucket. Makeshift milk jug into bucket. Now where to head? To the beach. Right over there. Oh, they're over there. All right, first hole. Yep, we found the sandy patch. We found a jumbo hole. So let's see if anything crazy comes out of it. I already see a crab in it. A little crab. Oh, that's a goopy sand. I wonder what a good size for these fellows is. Like, there's a little guy. Nice. He's rough. Don't so you think that makes him a Manila? Mm. Time to hit the Google. Oh man, this thing looks like something from my nightmares. Yeah. There seems to be so many clams out here. Yeah, it's going well, and we found a few oysters even, but we don't have an oyster knife, and we don't really know how to harvest oysters properly, so. To be determined if we keep an oyster or not yet still. Yeah. So in this area we've got manila clams, which I think is are the types of clams that we've gotten so far from what I can tell. And also open our little neck clams and oysters and mussels. So let's see if we find a bit closer to the water here. You just saw a water squirt? Yeah. Get off. <laughs> Oh, I just saw a big water squirt. Where? Over here. It like Let's power it squirted. Is that big hole? Right down here. Inside this weird barnacle looking it's thing. Two? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's very mucky. Very. Oh, Ron. Where is he? Size. Oh, I think that's a butter clam. So we can't take that one. Oh, he is smooth. Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm right, that's a butter clam, which I'm pretty sure I'm right. And those guys we can't harvest here. So put that guy back. Okay, that's a giant hole. There's gotta be a clam in there. So if I'm correct, I think this one is a little neck clam. Oh my gosh. Ew! Ah! Oh! Nasty. Anyways, like I was saying, little neck clam because I think it's more circular than the manila. Could be wrong. Luke gave the shovel back to Luke because apparently he has better clamming luck than me. Luke saw a big squirt and he's on his way through the muck and his foot flops to get there. <laughs> oh. You got splashes all in your back from all the muck you've been spraying. On my shirt? Yeah, on your sweater. So I think we've determined that these are sand shrimp. 
oysters on this beach um, we really didn't know that would happen and we weren't fully prepared on like how to harvest oysters what to look for like how to prepare them after you harvest them but I just did a little bit of googling and I think we're gonna get a few and try roasting them so along with our clams we're gonna get some oysters should be a good time we got a bucket full we got our little clams in the bottom and then we're gonna go oysters and try it out so top half filled with oysters so we were able to take advantage of that outside shower, wash the feet off. Always a perk having that for these kinds of days. We now have our clams and oysters inside of a little bowl here. We're gonna put them in the fridge and keep them cool. And then we're gonna go check into Little Qualicum Falls Campground, the provincial park, and go from there. Okay, we've arrived and our site looks really nice here. It's a little bit small and quaint, but it's right on like, wow, like the cliff area. This is so nice and like so private, secluded. We got a gully back there or something. Yeah, dang, this is really nice. We only have one neighbor over a little gully, as Alicia would, <laughs> through the forest here. One person way over this mound, can't even see anybody there. And just a small tent way over that ravine. This is beautiful. And we have a little bit of a view for ourselves. Upper 17 is the campsite here if you're looking for a cool campsite. Decent. Look who needed outside at the provincial park right away. You deserve it though, kitty. Yes. So now that we're settled into camp, it's time to get some food on the grill. We've got the propane grill out hooked right up to the RV like we showed you in that RV tour there so use the RV propane instead of a bottle we're gonna do oysters Rockefeller with those oysters we picked but okay the thing with this dinner is we're making two things that we've not only never made before but we've never eaten before so also and also we don't even have all the ingredients to make these things like proper so yeah. We're just making like kind of our own version and I think it's gonna be good. Anyway, barbecue is up to heat, so we're gonna get the oysters cooking. We have put them on there without shucking them. The shell should pop open in around five minutes if you grill them apparently. So we're gonna try that pro strat and get cooking. It's open. Whoa. So apparently you want to keep that juice because it tastes good. Probably use a sharper knife. Yeah, not the knife we used to pry open clams last year. Yeah. Oops, my juice is filling. Oh, not your own juice. Okay, so what we're going to do is once they're all ready, we're going to top it with this onion, butter, garlic, green onion, laughing cow cheese mix <laughs> it sounds really weird but i think it's gonna be really good and then we're gonna top it with some breadcrumbs and then some parmesan cheese on top and then put it back in the barbecue and let it bubble away and it's gonna be good oysters rockefeller kind of <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say you're gonna taste the clam juice? Yeah, oyster well, juice. Yeah, oyster juice. Whoa. 
might be really bad. It also looks really hot. No. Kiss from the sea. Ooh, that's salty. But good? But actually really good. Oh, nice. Ready, they're cooking away here. We only got three that were usable in the end. The other ones looked iffy and we weren't really willing to risk it, so. <laughs> but these ones look dang good. Camping with foraged oysters. This is the Vancouver Island living. I think we've been waiting for it. Give me one big dude, isn't it? Ooh, I got mine in hand. You got yours in hand? Dang. I think I just have filling, but that's good too. It tastes like mushrooms Neptune. Yeah, it does taste like mm. that. Oh. Hot. Very hot, yeah. This is so good. Mm -hmm. But now it's on to the main course, our mm. steamed clams with garlic butter and rice. Yep. Okay, so we've got some butter and onions here. I'm just gonna add the garlic now, actually, while we're at it. And we're getting ready to do some steamed clams here. We've got so many clams. Look at all these. How many did you count? Like 60? 60. So basically the limit for one person. We could have had double. But this is seriously so much that we don't need it. And we might actually have to steam them in two bunches because I don't know how this is going to work out. But we're just going to steam them in some chicken broth because we didn't have any wine or anything like that that you're like supposed to steam them in. So this is going to have to do the trick. <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, so we're just letting those guys steam for like five to ten minutes and they should be opened up and ready to go. Oh, and we also forgot to mention we did leave these in fresh water for like probably close to an hour to try and get all the sand out of them. I guess they like filter the fresh water through and then spit out all the sand. So fingers crossed we don't have any sandy clams. The clams are coming off, appetizers are done. I would say it's almost time to get digging into the main course pretty soon here now. Hey Alicia. Almost. I've taken the clams out and I'm just going to kind of reduce what they were cooking in and kind of get it a bit more condensed. Is that the word? Um, and also I'm going to add some coconut milk just because. Ooh. What a good day of Vancouver Island living though. Man, provincial park, nice spot to rest our head and we harvested our own dinner. Decent. May as well take it for a taste test. Just like popcorn. Mmm. Not sandy. And it tastes like what you taste in clam cheddar, so. Really good. Yes! Talk about a main course. We're gonna settle into it here, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna get a big walk around, and I think we're gonna explore all of the little Qualicum Falls area. We're gonna try and feature the campground a little bit more here too, take you for a tour of some of the campsites, and see what else we can find, because we're liking it so far. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good morning, guys. So it's a beautiful morning here at the campground. And we're just walking around the different campsites and checking them out and we're gonna go check out the falls in the mini here but we just found i think the perfect campsite it's in the lower section not the upper which we're in and it's campsite number 60. so pretty you're right on the river here literally this is your view pretty good
I think I prefer the lower campground compared to the upper campground here at Little Qualicum Falls, but the one nice thing about being in the upper campground as well is being off the river, it's quite a bit cooler down here in the valley and we have a bit of an overcast day so far, so that does help with the temperature a little bit at least, but either way, beautiful park. I'm curious how big this waterfall is gonna be. If it's gonna be similar to Goldstream or if it'll be bigger, I guess we'll find out. How's the water? It's not even that cold. No? no. Going for a swim then? No, it's freezing outside right now. If it was a nice hot summer day, then yeah, it would be really nice. <laughs> oh, come on. What do you think, Alicia? How would you rate this waterfall? 10 out of 10. Woo! That waterfall was pretty freaking cool, but there's a second one right below it. So let's go. So we're just finishing the waterfall loop right now. We went all the way around to the lower campground and then down through both falls and back up the other side and then stumbled across this cool looking cabin. We think it could be the park's headquarters on the map, but we don't see any signs around it. So we're still out to lunch on what that cabin is. And speaking of lunch, we're heading back to the RV to get some lunch because it is lunchtime. Let's go. We've been lounging around watching the clouds roll by all day, but we're kind of feeling a little restless and bored right now, so we're gonna bust out our badminton set for the first time this trip. Alicia's digging in the hatch there and we're gonna have a little fun. Then we're gonna have a quick bite to eat, and later on we have to run the generator. Generator time is 6 to 8 p.m. for in the evenings, and we usually feel really bad running the generator, so we try not to as much as we can, but not going home and plugging in every weekend and actually using it for computer work and that kind of stuff, Sadly, we do go through quite a bit of battery and we're going to need to probably run it for half an hour to an hour at least tonight during work time. So hopefully everyone's okay with that. We always feel really bad running our generator because I mean, we have tenters on both sides of us right now and you know, they're probably out here just for a quick weekend trip trying to enjoy it and get away from all the noise. So sorry guys, maybe we're crazy. What do you guys think about generator use? Do you use generators a lot in provincial parks? Maybe let us know down below. Anyways, badminton time. I've also brought out this little, this is a new thing that we got this year, it's a little mosquito repellent thing. And there's like a tiny little butane fire in here that heats up these blue pads that I'm sure have like chemicals or something in it, I don't know, probably it's like citronella. <laughs> <laughs> and so you just change up the pad when it turns white and it's just this like Boop. really scent free and smoke free way to keep mosquitoes away. It works really, really well, so highly recommend this little thermosel thing. Brought to you by Canadian Tire. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. So we're really gonna only run the generator probably 15, 20 minutes while we make dinner right now. Just feel too bad having a tenter on that side and a nice tenting family on this side to run it all night, but this is sitting right beside the RV while it's running. I wouldn't call that too noisy, kind of just a murmuring white noise and it dissipates really fast too. Like if you were one campsite over, it'd probably be way quieter than this, but I don't know. We check into this campground tomorrow and then we're heading into Port Alberni. We're gonna do a bunch of kind of RV living tasks. We got some stuff to do in town. And then while we're in town, might as well just do some work at a parking lot and run the generator in a Walmart or maybe a rest area, kind of where everyone's just doing this kind of stuff anyway instead of enjoying the peacefulness of nature so we'll be nice about it but what do you guys think is this pretty noisy generator use in campgrounds yay nay you're supposed to be able to use it from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. but I don't know we do what we can alrighty so we're gonna start getting ready for bed here it's getting a little late overall we really enjoyed this campground here at Little Qualicum Falls it's really nice and the walk around the whole falls area is super beautiful too, so we had a really good time here, loved it.
If you guys liked the video, please give it a like down below and subscribe if you're new. And next time you guys see us, we'll actually be doing a full day in the life of what it's like to live in the RV. So be sure to check that out and we'll see you next time. Bye!